Friends, now we will go for another derivation. So, there is an electric field at any point due to dipoles on an equatorial plane. Okay. Suppose I have a dipoles, what is the equatorial plane? And equatorial plane or it is also called perpendicular bisector, this is a plane which is passing to the center of these dipoles and perpendicular to its axis. We will we'll say that like this, suppose I have a dipoles models, it is a positive charge and negative charge separation between them and this is already this uh, studied about axis of dipoles that any point which is passing to this axis. For example, already I will show here like this, suppose I will place at any charge on this particular line x axis, this is called axial line and that derivation is done. Suppose I will place a positive charge on axial line, it is attracted towards it and it is giving it giving a direction like this. Suppose it is negative charge and because of this uh, positive charge, it will experience a repulsive force. Now, uh, we already discussed about this electric field on an axial line. This is a uh, electric field, uh, nature of electric fields due to the axial lines and this test charge is attracted by this negative charge because of this it will produce electric field and this test charge because of this positive charge will experience a repulsive force and what is total electric field due to these two fields is giving electric field due to axial line at any point on axial line that is all just now we will discuss. Now, what is a electric field on a equatorial plane that means now this axis this line is passing to this perpendicular to this axis plane and then how it will experience this test charge will experience a force let us see. For example, I have a line which is passing to the center of this dipole and perpendicular to this axis and suppose I will place a positive charge and it will experience a repulsive force and due to this negative charge it will experience attractive force such a way that these forces between these charges it is like this. And because of this negative charge, the test charge will attracts towards it and because of this positive charge, the test charge will experience a repulsive force. The two forces is acting on a test charge is looks like this and is shown in a diagrams. Suppose I have a, a dipoles my plus q and minus q separated by distance to a and O is the center of this dipole, a plane which is passing to this center and perpendicular to axis is called equatorial plane. Now, I have a point P on this equatorial plane, suppose I have a point P on this equatorial plane, what is the electric field at this point P? That is where we are going to derive here, what is the expression for electric field at any point P on a equatorial plane. Now, students see here whatever I diagram I drawn and also the distance what is marked I will explain like this. And suppose this is a center of dipole from this positive charge to center of dipole is distance is A from negative charge to center of dipole is also equal to A and distance from center of dipole to point P is R then using this right angle triangle what is the distance from point P to plus Q is using Pythagoras theorem is a R square plus A square square root. The square root of r square plus a square is distance from plus q to p. Same way minus q to p that also is it is produce a right angle triangles again is a sides are r and a and based on this the third side of a right angle triangle is square root of r square plus a square that is the distance I mark. Then what is the electric field at point p due to this plus q electric field at point P due to this plus Q whose magnitude I written direction is as shown in figure, its direction is directed uh, away from it or directed outwards and due to this minus Q the test charge will experience attractive force it is directed like this and such a way that magnitude of electric field at point P due to plus Q is given like that 1 by 4 peps naught Q divided by R square plus A square and magnitude of this electric field due to minus q, electric field due to minus q is, it is written like this, c minus q. Once again the distance is same as that distance of plus q charge because of that distance we will get a same expressions is 1 by 4 peps naught q divided by r square plus 
a square, but the direction is different. It is keep in mind direction is not same, magnitude is same, it is giving only magnitude of electric field. Now, I have a two vectors or two vectors which is producing at a point P that is electric field vector E plus Q and V minus Q. I want to find out what is the net electric field at point P. Okay. The net electric field it is a vector sum of electric field due to charge plus Q and electric field due to charge minus Q. Okay. We have to add vectorially, but how to find out this resultant or net electric field at the point P. Okay. We have to resolve this vector into two components. You have studied in the first year. Suppose I have a vector r vectors, I can resolve it into two components based on this angle made with the horizontal. Let us take this is a t term in such a way that this angle I will write as t term. Then the component of this r vector along the horizontal that is called as r cos t term and component along the vertical is called as r sin t term and this is a horizontal component as well as vertical component. Same way here also these e plus vectors I can resolve into two vectors as horizontal component as e plus q cos t term and vertical component as E minus Q, sorry E plus Q sin theta. And I resolve this E plus Q vector into two component as E plus Q sin theta and E plus Q cos theta. Similarly, I have another vectors E minus Q and this also resolved into two component as horizontal component and again it is making angle theta and this angle also is equal to theta because of that reasons and this is a theta. This is a two angles is theta and theta and it is a sum of this exterior angle is sum of this interior angle is going to be two theta by that he will give like this and this vector is giving like this resolved into two component E minus Q cos theta and E plus Q cos sin theta. E minus Q sin t. Look at these vectors. Now, these vectors I resolved into two components. I split up into two components. One is E plus Q cos theta and P plus Q sin theta. And here I resolved E minus Q into E minus Q cos theta and E minus Q sin theta. I add up these vectors. When you are adding these vectors, these two vectors are equal in magnitude but opposite because they are equal in magnitude is here they are equal in magnitude but is opposite direction they cancels then e plus q sin theta are cancels e plus q sin theta and e minus q sin theta cancels and another component e plus q cos theta and e minus q cos theta they are all both are in same direction they are added up then E minus Q cos theta and E minus E plus Q cos theta added up, add up. When you are adding these two components, what you will get here, see here. So, E plus Q cos theta plus E minus Q cos theta that is giving what is the net electric field at a point P due to this electric dipoles on equatorial lines. Since E plus Q and E minus Q are in same magnitudes and E plus Q is equal to E minus Q that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square plus E square. And I will take here and this is equal in magnitudes because of that reason I will rewrite like this. It is a 2 into E plus Q cos theta and this I will substitute here 2 into 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R square plus A square and this is a what is a E plus Q. And what is the cos theta? I will use this figure and I will find out what is the cos theta. Cos theta is nothing but it is a distance A divided by A divided by 
adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is a r square plus square root of r square plus a square square root of r square plus a square this is clear from this right angle triangle I will substitute as cos theta I will cos theta as a divided by adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is a square root of r square plus a square. Now, I will simplify this equations and it is giving like this 2 a into q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into this is r square plus a square to the power 1 and r square plus a square to the power half and there is going to be r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. Student, if this is 1 to the power 1 plus this is a square root of r square plus a square that means it is a power half then total is a 3 by 2 in such a way that you will get equation is like this the electric field due to these uh, dipoles on a equatorial plane at any point on equatorial plane E vector it is giving like this is a 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 a q divided by r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2. We know that this dipole has a dipole meant p that is equal to 2 a into q already straight and direction of this electric field it is opposite to direction of dipole meant. How we can see here this is a direction of resultant electric field vectors and this is a direction from positive charge to negative charge and it is opposite to the direction of dipole meant because of that is an L right direction is minus p unit vectors minus p unit vector. Finally, I will write that I will replace 2 a q as a p I will write electric field on the axial line sorry on a equatorial line is so a 1 by 4 pi f naught p divided by r square plus a square to the power 3 by 2 opposite is direction of dipole meant and this expression for electric field due to a dipoles on a e point on a equatorial lines and again we will assuming that these dipoles distance between these charges is very small compared to the distance r or r is very large compared to a and such a way that above equations what is a r square plus a square I will write as r square r square plus a square is written as r square. Then above equation again I will simplify like this uh, for a short dipoles for a short dipoles when a distance is very small and compared to this distance r then above equation I will written like this it is a r square plus a square is written as r square then r square to the power 3 by 2 become r cube r square power 3 by 2 become r cube and opposite the direction of dipole meant. And this is the equations we want to derive if it is asked what is the electric field at any point on a equatorial plane ok. And this is again it is inversely proportional to cube of the distance and is depend upon dipole meant and it is inversely depend upon distance but it is directly proportional to dipole moment and inversely proportional to cube of the distance.